Tonight on Wife Swap, a mum who's sick of being taken for granted swaps with a family where dad literally does it all. I uh, want she become more like a princess. I get up at quarter to five every morning and do my housework. I wish I had a bit more help, but then I feel that if you want something done, you've got to do it yourself. Expectations are smashed. Patience is tested. Oh, I need more sleep. And wives get pushed to the limit. Up and down. Rules get broken at every turn. Scrap all those rules apart from the cooking. No. <laughs> it's not happening. As they swap lives for one week. No one likes scrubbing out dirty showers, those sort of roles you should be doing anyway if your husband's at work. Sorry. It's the ultimate culture clash. Thank you very much. Thank you. On Wife Swap New Zealand. Time to meet the meows. Here's Jackie and Jackson, who's three, daughter Lewin, who's 12, Jesse nine, and here's mum, Lay. My father know him first. And then my father think, oh, this is nice boy. I've got a daughter. Single. And my father said, mm, great. I'm going to introduce to my daughter. <laughs> what do you think? I'm not bad at. True story. <laughs> you think he was here? Oldest daughter is name is Li Wen, and she's nearly 12. She is so good. I'm so proud of her. When she's playing drum, you will see, oh, she's rocking girl, yeah. My other daughter is Jessie. She is so smart and helpful. Yeah, she is really good. My son, Jackson, we have accident. <laughs> it's so good to be a mom. Mom is funny and she likes to play around. <laughs> the household, daddy is a boss because I don't want to take any responsibility. <laughs> I just want to have an easy life. <laughs> yeah, so daddy's doing the more patient for the kids. All the important things is go for her. Yeah. 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 Hospital or school, everything. Yeah, I just do the easy job. Drop off, cooking, clean, that's it. She got milk a lot. The new wife coming, mm -hmm. I might be just tell her sleeping. <laughs> just sleeping, relax. <laughs> I hope she can enjoy it. Have a rest. Let's have a cup of tea and a drink a cup of wine. And a watch movie. Their swap is with the Summerfields. Paul the dad, son Blake is 18, Liam's 15, and here's mum, Emma. It's actually 23 years this year we've been together. How old are we, 16? Um, nearly 17, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Emma is an amazing mum. I'll take my hat off to her. She can be a bit over the top, but it's only yeah. and stuff to the point where if I try and do something, she'll go, oh, you didn't do it good enough. So I sort of take a bit of a step back. I get up at quarter to five every morning and do my housework thoroughly. I do everything from like dusting, vacuuming, mopping the floors, get the kids sort of breakfast and lunches all done. And yeah, I sort of do my main like bathroom cleaning and that in the weekend. What I do a day, most people wouldn't do in a year. I wish I had a bit more help, but then I feel that if you want something done, you have gotta do it yourself. I'm gone by 6.30 in the morning and home by 6.30 at night, so organised and off to school and back. So we don't really do much together. It's sort of like we, Paul and I will just hang out when we got the chance, but otherwise the kids just sort of do their own thing. Like, we'll go out with his mates and Liam just sort of games all day. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> we do have some activities, but it's just, yeah, rare, pretty much, yeah. But we do interact every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whether it's um, telling them off or, <laughs> or <laughs> telling Blake no or telling Liam off because he's screaming too loud or something. Well, we that's do not interactive. I just really want to see what it's like from a different perspective of where the majority of the stuff and what it's actually like to, you know, be, sort of have a bit more time to yourself. And, yeah, not run such a full-on household and work so much. Yeah, so it'd be really cool just to see how, it, how the other half live. It's the morning of the swap and Emma and Lay are packing to leave. I'm really anxious about going. It's just, it's scaring me. It's just unknown. It's, yeah. I'm terrified. Just worry about my son. Yeah, because he sleeps with me every day. And if I'm leaving, he might cry. The thought of coming back here and everything being moved around and like changed and messy is scaring me something. That's been one of my major anxieties about actually leaving and coming back. So yeah, it's, that is gonna be on my mind constantly. 
need to pack for the party as well. If it's got a party, then I want this one. Emma hands over her phone before she leaves. OK, have fun. Mm. <laughs> to them, OK? OK. I miss Thank you. Mm. Have fun, eh? <laughs> 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 Most hugs I've had wow. for a year. All right. All right, let's go before I lose my sh shit. I'm going to enjoy my holiday. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I love you. I will miss you. None of the families know where they're going. I'm extremely anxious. I'm so excited. Hmm. To try the new thing always is the best. <laughs> Before they meet their new families, Emma and Lay get a chance for a good snoop around their new homes. Oh, God. Hello. This looks really tidy. Let's have a look. Mmm. Nice and comfortable. Little kids. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Oh, wow, she is so beautiful. I has more will be happy. <laughs> Holy best wife. <laughs> OK, I'll ask my husband to give this one for me. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, no, there's a little one. <laughs> a little boy. Feeling so anxious about looking after a really young child. I can't work out whether these three or four kids, the ages, are really young. Both wives have written detailed manuals with the rules and daily schedules of the house. For the first two days, they must follow these rules, but then they can write their own. Hello and welcome to my home. My name is Lee and my household consists of five members, including myself, my husband Jackie, eldest daughter, Lewin, 12, Jesse, 9, and lastly, the youngest in the family, our son, Jackson, 3, is in Jack's son. Yeah, I think I feel better once I meet them, but yeah. Right now, it's just, yeah, nerves. Who and I are childhood sweetheart getting together at age 16. Wow. OK, but he loves to have fun too. He is very helpful around the home. Wow. Doing most of the cooking. Great. And helping out with the children. That's going to be nice. Bit of a break. As from looking after the home, I am the manager at the dental practice in the Ponson Bay. Paul is working with a team shifts between overnight and the days. We are sometimes like ships in the night, but it keeps us missing each other. Ah, oh, that is hard. Lewin is 12, she loves music and is learning the drums. She is one of just nine children in New Zealand with Treacher Collins syndrome. You may have seen the condition in the Julia Roberts movie, Wonder. But I haven't heard of Treacher Collins syndrome and nor have I seen the Julia Roberts movie, Wonder, so I'm a little unsure. Probably a lot of questions for Lewin. Who is a terrible cook? Oh my goodness. How is, what are we gonna eat? And only really operates the barbecue. Ah, that is a good thing. We can have a barbecue every day. I like it. And now it's time mm. for Lei and Emma to meet their new families. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hello, how are you? Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I'm nice Emma. To nice to meet you. Hello. How are you? <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to make him cry. That's <laughs> all right. OK? Oh, my gosh, thank you. Yeah. That is the sweetest thing ever. Oh, thank you. I hope my boys were just as organised for your mum. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. How are you going? Hi. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Big really? grown up kids on oh, cool. My name's Lane. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you I'm too. Blake. Blake, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Liam. You are really handsome. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, there's more. <laughs> From wow. my mum. I won't want to leave. <laughs> Welcome to our home. Hope you're going to have a lot of fun in here. Jessie Lee. Thank you so much. That is just beautiful. 
I'm feeling a lot better now that I've met everyone. Everyone's lovely. The kids are super cute and so thoughtful. Like the cards and the flat touch. I actually feel sorry for them. I've gone to my house to put out with my boys. <laughs> it's like, oh. but no, yeah, it feels a lot better now that I've met everyone. Yeah. I know you are not a good cook. I'm bad cook as well. Are you? <laughs> no. Are you a bad cook? Or are you joking? No, I'm not joking. Yeah. So you're gonna sing about what you're gonna eat today? We'll figure it out. We're gonna figure it out for the cooking. No worry. It's okay. Human can eat everything. <laughs> so who does the cooking in your house then? My husband. Are you joking? No. Hey, hey cook. Hey, <laughs> Hi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think my dad's like kind of the situation as weird as I find it, you know? Because like, yeah, he's so used to his wife or my mom doing pretty much everything, yeah. Can I ask about this? <laughs> oh, dancing. Why is a uh, Monday, Monday morning trampling dancing? 11 That's why I know. Oh, you, you guys will have to teach me. That's what we yeah. do. <laughs> Rather to his surprise, Paul's on cooking duties, and after two hours roasting, the meal's finally ready. Enjoy my dinner. Thank you. That's all right, you're welcome. <laughs> so what do you rate that chicken, Blake, out of ten? About six. Really? It's, um, it's good, but not as good as a restaurant kind of chicken, you know? At least it'll fill your belly. Maybe Paul will be a little bit worried about me because I'm not a good cooker. And um, mm, just keep it secret, please. It's quarter past nine and all the kids are still up while I've gone to bed. Um, yeah, they seem to have really late nights and, you know, they've got school tomorrow and stuff. And yeah, it just seems to be really late. Just sort of something, you know, I wouldn't have you know, I just feel they need to go to bed a little bit earlier, maybe. I'm so happy to swap to this family. And uh, they are having two teenagers, so I will learn a lot. Next on Wife Swap. And when you jump, push down on the trampoline. Now, let's get started. Lay is a very spoiled wife. <sighs> Uh, I never can wake up at half past six. Crazy. It's day two in the wife swap houses and lays up super early, sticking to Emma's housework rules. Yeah, next a uh, mop on the lowish tile. When he's going anywhere, then we'll be mopping it. Oh. Oh. Normally, I never can wake up at half past six. Crazy. Jesus. Oh. Oh. Oh, I need more sleep. Nobody looking after Emma. Oh. Poor lady. She just looking after for everyone. Emma's day, under Lay's rules, merely start to the day. So I'm heading to trampoline class this morning. Something I'm not overly comfortable with, it's I don't exercise. So it's going to be very interesting, but yeah, not looking forward to it one bit. Jackie did warn me that one of the other friends did it and had to take two weeks off. So I'm not looking forward to it at all. You jump, you don't go high. Instead, you smooth, push down on the trampoline. Now, let's get started. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's so hard trying to balance push. and, like, being on something springy. Like, it's, yeah, push. that's really awkward. I'm trying not to insult anyone, but it's just, like, I just can't keep a straight face. I'm just like, <laughs> but they're so into it. <laughs> just like, oh, my God. Roll your body, sit, roll and sit. Right, left, right, left, right. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Probably something I wouldn't do again, but it's definitely got me interested in actually doing something for myself, more active. I haven't excited that much all my life. So I think you were joking yesterday when you said to me you couldn't cook. I won't surprise you. <laughs> la, 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 la. Mm. 
She played me on the first night and made me look like a bit of an idiot around the kitchen, but um, hey, I took control, I managed it. Um, I'm not used to cooking, I don't cook every day. I can whip up a barbecue, I can cook some meals. The surprise is good. In stark contrast, Jackie's introducing Emma to a place he finds some inner peace. Wow, it's so big. It is. Jackie's extremely proud of his culture and where he's come from, and he's, you know, always explaining it to me, and he's really enjoying spending time with me, I think, to teach me and show me how things are done. This one for you, you can put your name, your family name, your, your son, yeah. and, oh, wow. uh, and wish on that. They will so I write all my family names on yeah. there? No, you just push your way too much, but you can your son or your husband. I want to be rich. <laughs> Jackie has just been showing me a lot of their religion, and it's really interesting. Just such a nice environment. I've learned so much. Wow, it's such an amazing experience. <laughs> Traditional. No picking grass. Coming here has just been like really neat. Like it's just showing you like that mindfulness and just to you know like stop and enjoy everything. When I go in there, I saw you hang the, all the clothes. Thank you. Um, I didn't wash yours because, um, no, I, I didn't want to damage it. It's all right. Don't okay. worry. I just did it. Thank you very much. Yeah, it would have been nice if there was no washing for me when I woke up this morning. I think Lay is a very spoiled wife, um, and, um, maybe her husband doesn't know how to say no or ask for her to do more. So maybe you might learn a few things or two being here. Yeah, yeah. yeah I already learned quite a lot. That's good. Thank you. So what, what sort of things have you learned? I think I, when I get at home, I probably will share some work devices, not really fear. Emma, she is the superwoman. Yeah, she is, she is a hero. She working 12 hours, but she still can look after us for everything. What kind of life is this? <laughs> you know what, I feel shy now. What? I thought I was a really hard worker. True. Yeah. But when I see you and Emma, sorry. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Just take a minute. It's all good. Uh, but it's a matter of having to. Do you want to make more dinner for work? We got 10 of Jackie's friends coming for a barbecue tonight, so he's doing all the cooking and all the preparation and told me to go and relax. If it was our house, like Paul would be more likely just to fire up the barbecue and stuff like that. So yeah, it is quite cool to see how different it is. Have you ever cut yourself with that? No, when you're using this one, your finger not like this. You have to do it like oh. this. Everything you cut, just looking, you won't be cutting your, your finger. I heard about what she's doing at home, doing working every day, and uh, I told her just get holiday here. Relax. I don't want to uh, she do too much work in my house. Keep warm. Wow! It's a dumpling. Yeah. Oh, my God. Normally, my wife stay here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. My wife stay here. <laughs> thank you. And uh, Runa, Nikki sit on the side. OK. Yeah. And normally, I sit over there. Oh, really? Far yeah. away? <laughs> she look after all the ladies. Oh. <laughs> It's a bit overwhelming. I've met no one before, and yet here they come with like all these like flowers, wine. Mmm. That's for sure, for sure. Nice. It's amazing that they have made me feel extremely welcome. I've never felt as welcome in anyone else's home as I have in their house. It's just been amazing. Just yeah, one of the best experiences I've done in my life. Yeah. Right, okay. First thing we uh, welcome Emma to our home. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna start missing my husband. All, all the good time I will start to missing him. I would like to share with him. If he's there, it'll be great. Rule change tomorrow, so I feel that I'm definitely gonna implement that they're in bed by a certain time, especially Jackson, who's only three. And, um, yeah, just a few other things that I'm thinking might have to happen as well.
next. So the new rule is, Jessie's in charge of making breakfast. I'm actually not quite sure what to make for breakfast. I, I would like to scrap that rule. I don't feel that she's done enough, and she wanted me to reverse the role and me to... It's all changed today, and the swapped wives are preparing their brand new rules. Feeling a little bit nervous, because I don't really want to step on anyone's toes as such, but I definitely think that there need to be some rules put in place. Jackie takes on way too much around the house, and I just feel it should be spread out a bit more. There's, you know, enough people here that can help him. Today, the role is going to change. I really want to improve something and make her feel much more easier. I just don't know how she's handled her life like this without anyone's help. Can you believe it? No, I can't handle it. If it's straight away, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Hey guys, I've had a fantastic time with you all this week. However, there are a few things that I've noticed and think that we can improve on. Mm -hmm. So I've made some new rules and here they are. Mm -hmm. Bedtime. The kids currently don't have a set bedtime and everyone currently sleeps in the same room. You guys need to get a proper night's sleep before school. So the new rule is that Jackson needs to be in bed by 7 and the girls by 8.30. Everyone needs to have a shower before bed to feel ready for sleep and be in bed on time. I think that going back to early is actually good for you because you're sleeping, you actually grow. Today is also going to be changed on my own, but thanks you guys to helping me for those past two days to follow the MS menu. So what sort of rules are you going to put in place for us then? Uh, are we going to agree with them or are we going to disagree with them or are we going to like these new rules or...? I don't know. Well, best you uh, let us know what these new rules are then. Yes, I'm going to go through it. The first rule is uh, the boy don't do any of the cooking in the house. So they're going to leave the home. So I think tonight we will help to prepare to cook the dinner meal. So we, we're going to work for, as a team. I'm going to do the main job. You guys probably just help me to... I will show you how to cut a veggie. So when you first arrived, you told me you couldn't cook. So yeah. now that all of a sudden you can cook and you're a whiz around the kitchen. So I've got a mixed signal here. I'm not sure where you're coming from. <laughs> I just um, want to I'm give you a surprise. Sure you want to implement this when you said to me you couldn't cook. Uh, I will, at the beginning, I was thinking I'm making fun. And maybe if I say I can't cook, you will be so worried but about this, it. But this here is a serious matter. We, you have to be serious doing this. This is... Oh, um, I just had a joking with you. Yeah. Don't think, take seriously. Helping Dad. Jackie has so much to do in the morning, cooking breakfast, making lunches, and helping you all get ready for school on time. I think the girls are more than capable to help out. So the new rule is, Jessie's in charge of making breakfast, and Luwin can make school lunches. Yeah. I'm actually not quite sure what to make for breakfast. Who and I, we were very similar in the our parents, our partner doing most of the housework. I disagree with that. So tomorrow we will share the housework and we will... OK, so since you've been here, I've done all the housework. Uh, I hang in the clothes as well. You've done the washing. So <laughs> now I've already taken that role up, so that role doesn't apply to me. In my eyes, you haven't done any housework since you've been here. Who doesn't want to share the house cleaning? And um, he think I did less, so he want to give me some more job to do. We're both going to do it. Why should I have to do it because when I've already been doing it since you've been here? Because you're going to be doing more help in the future for your wife. Well, I can. I can clean very well. I don't feel that she's done enough. And she wanted me to reverse them, but I did all the cleaning today. I, I, I would like to scrap that rule. You agree? <laughs> yeah. Do you guys agree? Yeah, yeah I agree yeah. very much. Yeah. So I just yeah. feel if he can do more help for, her, for his wife in the future, that's all. Jackson's toys. The lounge has a big pile of toys in the corner. It's messy and they don't need to be there. New rule, all toys stay upstairs. If Jackson wants to play in the lounge, he can bring a few down at a time, but they all must be put back upstairs when he's finished. Last night, I think you need to bring the toy in, in his bedroom. Everything I agreed at, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> For the next two days, we're gonna eat dinner as a family on the table together. I'm fine with that. And then you can you can go for your skating yeah. and back time on the 9.30, and you can go for your iPad yeah, and I do your stuff. I'm fine with that. Yeah. So that's all the rules? Yeah. You scrap all those rules, apart from the cooking, the cooking with the boys helping you cook, and I want you to reverse the role, and I want to apply the rules to you. I think he want to give me some hard time. <laughs> We're going to apply the one rule for the two boys, uh, the cooking that, that they should be doing. I, I, 
100% got your back on that one. Yeah. The rest of the rules, I disagree with because they are already in place. Yeah, and yeah. And since you've been here, you've not followed my wife's rules in the manual, so I'm reversing these rules you've given me, so I'm going to apply these rules for you for the next two days. <laughs> See if she enjoys her new rule that I've challenged her with since she hasn't been doing it. Everything I've left, I really like. In the Meow House, Jackie and the kids have wasted no time applying Emma's no toys rule. Your toy's coming through. Yep, that's right. Put it in there. Jackie is like being amazing. He agreed with everything and seemed really excited about the new ideas and hoping that it stays in place when Leigh gets home. That looks good. Yeah. Maybe I'm looking some uh, wine candy. Yeah. Put it in there. <laughs> put some more wine no, in there. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Despite the table showdown, Leigh carries on regardless and preps dinner with the boys. This is a kind of traditional food from my hometown. Yeah. I'd like you guys to try it. I hope you can love it and enjoy it. Probably will. <laughs> Good job. Well done. It's nice. I agreed with the rule that two boys cooking dinner, but I might decide to break about it. Um, if she doesn't follow my rule um, out of respect, and I will probably tell the boys not to follow one of her rules. Emma's on a roll and soon tackles Jackson's bedtime. Okay, in you go. <laughs> what does it say? You tell me. It's a sticker. It's a sticker, yeah. Look. Yeah. <gasps> the Mouse. Yeah. Jackson's in bed with a bottle and it's seven. It's like he's about to nod off, so fingers crossed. Who was uh, reversed that? I don't, I don't mind. He thinks that is fear then. I don't care. I'm not really serious for any, everything. As funny thing is, he's taking serious for every single thing. The girls, one of their roles was to be in bed by, showered and in bed by 8.30, and they took, they were fine. They just went straight off and went to bed. Um, yeah, so hopefully they'll keep that in place and I think it's going to take some a lot of practice to get him to go to sleep. Coming next on Wife Swap. Oh, my husband is so great. It's missing him so much. Not like cool. And these days now that, you know, most women have to work full time, there needs to be a bit of change at home for me. Yeah. It's dawn at the meows and the first full day of Emma's new rules. The girls were fantastic. They went up this morning cooking breakfast and making the lunches, and they all seemed genuinely quite happy about it. They needed no prompting at all. They were just, yeah, really good. I had to get up early this morning because I was making breakfast for me. Really tired because I don't normally wake up this early. Meanwhile, Paul calls Lay to the kitchen. OK, so here, here's just the basic reverse rule that I'll, I want you to follow this morning. Yeah. Have a look at it. Um, clean the main toilet, uh, the shower, scrub the shower walls and the door, and vacuum the family room. It's a yeah. massive list. It's just um, a little bit more involved than just hanging out washing, because that's easy. No one likes cleaning toilets. No one likes scrubbing out dirty showers. Those sort of roles you should be doing anyway if your husband's at work. That's why I reversed it. It's easily, I can't do it at home. It's just me since my husband doesn't like me to do it. Because I've hurt my back um, 12 years ago. It, it was very bad at that time. My whole leg have no feeling on it. And I was staying in the hospital for about two weeks time. But at that time, my daughter, my oldest daughter was just up nearly two months. And it was so hard for us. Sometimes I will have to lie down for one day after. I know how to protect myself now. It's a life. You have to learn it. Oh, that's good. No, I promise. If you walk all week, you'll feel great. Come on, I only have 30 minutes to sleep. Before you walk to school? What? So we were so organised this morning with the girls being up early and doing breakfast and helping out a bit more and making their own lunches that we had like an hour to kill before school. So we were trying to convince Jessie to walk, but no, she needed adult supervision apparently, <laughs> although she's definitely old enough and considering the school's very close, she wasn't going to have a bar of it. So the whole family ended up walking Jessie to school this morning and it was fine. We, Jackson and Jackie had heaps of time when they got back to get organised to go to daycare and work. Oh, my husband is so great. I'm missing him so much. Mm -hmm. I'm really appreciate. He's been looking after me very well. Yeah. 
not like pool. Sorry. Well, having Lay here has taught me how to be a little bit more independent and uh, a bit more helpful around the house, as yeah, um, I've sort of taken control, probably shouldn't have, but she seems like a very good character, full of life, probably a bit too much. There's normally at home where I do a lot of fun with my husband sometimes. I skid him and I make fun, and sometimes I just have a lot of fun with my kids as well, but um, uh, he's not that kind of person, so I stopped. Emma, she does a lot for us. It's made me realise heaps um, that, yeah, I do take her for granted, so hopefully I'll be working on that in the future. I don't think he's looking after Emma. Emma just like a machine, running for 24 hours, seven days, never have a rest. She's working and then cleaning, working, working cleaning, working, cleaning. Looking after three boys, even his, her husband like, boy, baby, need to feed him. Come on, baby, open your mouth. Cupcakes are on the menu at the Meows. Look at that, perfect. Uh, yep, butter, all around the sides. So Lee Wen had a hospital appointment today, so she was home from school. So we decided to do a little bit of baking and spend some one-on-one -on -one time together. And yeah, it was really cool. We had such a good time. Whoa! <laughs> Just put it in there. It was really fun because the cupcakes were so much. I was well baking. Okay. Yeah, I really enjoyed the bonding with Lee Wen, and I think, if anything, I've learnt that, you know, like, just give her anything a go. She's just so confident, and, you know, she tries everything. She plays the drums, and, yeah, she's and she's in a band, and she just doesn't let anything hold her back. Perfect. So, Lei, what do you think about this process? I feel more appreciated for my husband, and um, I learn a lot, and also I learn a lot from your kids as well. You are really good parents. Well, we try to be the best we can. We're not perfect, yeah. mate, but... But I learned a lot from you guys. Oh, Thank you, Lindley. That's right. So maybe next time when you're in Hollywood or anything like that, you could get your husband uh, a, a best husband trophy. <laughs> you know this one here I brought my wife? Yeah, that's right. And you know what? At the beginning, I was thinking I'm going to ask my husband to buy this one for me. <laughs> How funny I was. <laughs> but he is. Hey. I can buy this one next time when I go to Hollywood. Yeah. But he can buy it, you can buy it for him and we'll have best husband on it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. And he will say, what's the wife? Because <laughs> the girls have to go to bed so we've decided to make some scrambled eggs for their dinner. The way I've been brought up to, you know, like the woman always does the stuff inside and to see that the roles reversed here has been, yeah, it sort of opened my eyes up a bit more with, you know, whether it doesn't need to be like that. And you're all going in your own beds? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So showers, brush your teeth. Yeah. These days now that, you know, most women have to work full time, so they're having to do work and the work at home. So yeah, it needs, like, their need at home for me. Good night, Emma. Emma. The family's come face to face. Swap. I told him I can't cook. And then my whole world fell apart. Because you don't want to be a slave. You don't want to work hard and, and it's all one sided. It's the final morning in the wife swap houses and both wives are packing to go. I'm actually a little bit nervous about going home. Just, yeah, I don't know what I'm going home to or, yeah, things like that. And just, you know, I don't know how Paul and Lay's time went together. It's been huge with the different cultures, so I've learnt a lot. Like, Chinese men are so different to Kiwi men. So, yeah, it's been they're very... Um, they do everything. Yeah, and extremely generous. Yeah, it's just been completely different. Like, we just kind of normal new person we meet each other the relationship sometimes goes up sometimes goes down or well, is it's good friend but it's not a good husband for me <laughs> I still miss my husband he's the best husband in the world uh, it's a good time yeah, thank you for the experience yep. yeah thanks for having me I appreciate you guys did a lot of help for me thank you for teaching me yeah I think it's gone fairly well it's gone quite quick I'm looking forward to seeing my wife again so 
wife me too. Yeah, You're I'm not going... your wife. No. <laughs> I'm going to see my husband. Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> thank you. Okay, but like, thank you. See you later. Okay? I really hope the family keep up with the rule changes once I'm gone. Like, I really think that Jackson will benefit from the early bedtimes and the girls as well. Yeah, I just feel it would work really well for them. See ya! Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Soon the husbands and wives will meet up again and Lay can't wait. I'm just so excited and I can go. Yeah, and I can meet Jackie, it'll be good. Yeah. Mm. We can be great, great friends. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> Jackie, you're not, though, eh? Yeah, I'm not. You're excited. Uh. Ah! <laughs> 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 hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The wives and husbands meet for the first time to talk about the experience. Your two kids is so lovely. Oh, thank they you. are teenager, yeah. but they are so different with the teenager. What have I heard it? Your girls are beautiful. I really love Lei Wen. She is just so special. She is just amazing. Thank you. Jackson, wow. Oh, he's full on. <laughs> <laughs> he's like the king of the house. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. I found everything was around Jackson. I said, who's the boss? And he's like, me. <laughs> So obviously this week I've spent a lot of time with your Chinese friends and I've just, you know, got to see the culture and things like that. I can't believe that how generous you are as a culture as well and just like, you know, welcoming to people. And so much food for everything. <laughs> I, I need to go home for a diet. It's <laughs> just like there's so much food. Yeah. Yeah, I think we need to change our menu because in their house yeah, it was so, so healthy. healthy. Oh. <laughs> I even do any exercise but I'm not worried if I put it any weight on it. Yeah, you probably wouldn't have put Because it's so healthy. Yeah. And, but by the way, we left a lot of food for you. Did you? Yeah. yeah. So no, I learned a lot from your culture this week. It was lovely, yeah. And what else did I do? I didn't cook because it took two hours to cook that mm -hmm. lamb dish, so we didn't do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, she didn't follow my menu and I didn't follow your menu as well. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't, I can't cook the menu what you left it for me on oh. the first night. Oh, OK. And I asked Paul to, I told him, I can't cook. And then my whole world fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, for Emma's rule changes. Oh, at the beginning, for the first two days, I actually didn't follow up. He did everything. <laughs> he can do everything. Trust me. <laughs> Why didn't you follow those rules? <laughs> because I think the house is really clean. You don't need to do it. I know, I know. You did very well. Yeah. Everything was just like, oh, so tidy. And uh, on the third days, we changed the rules, and he want to reverse it. He want me to try how oh, you doing it. Yeah. I tried it. Yeah. Because it's easy, already clean. And she did it pretty good, out of 100%, maybe 80%, 85%, so she did pretty good. Me and Emma, we, we, we know you guys can do that. Yeah. But uh, we just uh, happy to do that. Yeah. We don't feeling we, we do too much job in the house. So what I'm trying to get across is that I think you do way too much, and Lei doesn't do much at all, and she's treated like a bit of a princess, so. Actually, I don't really want to do that. I, I want she become a, like a princess. I want, I want she happy. <laughs> that, that's really your choice, but that, that doesn't wash in my eyes. Yeah. I wouldn't be happy with but that. But I will help you. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. I will do some more jobs. And Because you don't want to be a slave. You don't want to work hard and... I do. What have you learned, babe? I changed some roles for your kids. Yeah? I asked them to pack their lunch by themselves. They are really happy on it. Yeah, yeah. So be, yeah. in they, the future, they wanted to do it. Yeah. You okay. probably need to yeah. back off on yeah. their lunch pad. Sorry, did your children? Did they make their lunches? Jackie no, Jackie doesn't. Yeah. So you make the lunches as well. <laughs> yeah. And dinner. Yeah. And clean. Yeah. Oh mate. <laughs> That's a... You need to come and live with me for a week. <laughs> <laughs> now, honestly, if this show ever reruns, we should do it together. Could we do it now? <laughs>
<laughs> I've had a, um, an interesting time because I've never met anyone like Lay. I thought, wow, what have I got? I've got another child in my house. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely learned how to have a little bit more fun on a different level, but um, whether I liked it or not, I don't know. I think you'd be too much for me. I, <laughs> I definitely think I'd do my head in. <laughs> to control myself because he's taking everything for seriously. The way I see it is you just try and get all the good positives out of every little thing. Yeah, which but is a good thing. This as well, you know, you got to know that... That limit. Yeah, yeah the limit. Are you, you glad you, you did, did it? it? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah same. Yeah. Because I wanted to pull out the week before. I was like, nope, not going to do it now. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. I'm sad it's over now. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you so much. You've taught me heaps. Thank you. You're a good fan. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she was dying to do that. Put lipstick on me. Thank you And with so one much. huge wipe, it's all over, and the reunited pairs head home with plenty to think. I enjoyed it, but yeah. I missed you. Yeah, same. But I did enjoy it. I, I... Really glad I did it and went yeah. through with it, yeah. yeah I'd do it again, yeah. But yeah. I probably wouldn't be as but lucky. But you probably didn't have someone so yeah. energised. No, no. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Back to you. It feels really good to be home, yeah. Really cool to get back into a routine and stuff and, yeah, just not eat so much. I felt like we gained friends from, you know, after the table meeting today and that, and I just feel like we'll stay in touch. Yeah, it was really cool. I'm just, I'm so grateful for being able to meet them. Banda. Oh, mama. I really enjoy it, but I'm missing my kids and my husband so much. Success, really good time. I can't handle any more day. <laughs>